What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today we're running late again. Uh, we are back for another 6pm content video. Hopefully we are going to get something good today. Obviously it is Wednesday, so it is team of the week day. So we are going to check out the brand new team of the week. Hopefully get a few decent cards. I think it was leaked, but I'm not too sure. So we're going to check things out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rate and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Will we see a load on screen to start things off for our team of the week? By the looks of it, absolutely not. What you will notice is above me, our coins have gone up. Now, that is not because I am a trader, and that's not because I've spent any more FIFA points. Um, that's because we got lucky in moments. So, today we were able to pack another icon. Um, the video will be out tomorrow morning on YouTube for that. If not, go over and check out TikTok, and you can check out who we got over there. But yeah, we've had some incredible luck recently. I do apologize to every single person who watches me. Uh, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. So, Starting things off with today, we've got another objective for, do you know what, not too difficult to do. We've got the, I think this is the Women's American League, the Super League, and then the Premier League, and then First Owner as well. So, fairly simple to get an 80 times 5 pack. These aren't great, but they're decent packs, so we'll take it. Daily objectives are there as well. Um, again, not really ideal. Do we have anything new in terms of milestones? Because, I'll be honest... I've done everything else. Any player objective have now been completed. Um, obviously, apart from the brand new ones for today, I've pretty much done everything else that you can do. Um, yeah, there's just not a lot left for me to do. The whole game has completely crashed. This is not the first time that this has happened today. Um, this is about the fourth time it's happened to me today. So hopefully your guys' games aren't crashing. Um, who knows if it is or isn't. Uh, as I say, mine is, which isn't ideal. So hopefully, obviously on top of the team of the week today, we should be getting maybe a new set of evolutions, maybe a new SPC. Obviously, we've had quite a lot of SPCs over the last sort of week or so. They've been pretty decent. Obviously, content's been slow, which is why you might have noticed that 6 per videos has been the only thing we've posted for the last two or three days. That is because there's purely nothing else for me to do. Apart from on the road to glory, apart from playing games, which we're going to have in tomorrow's video with Division Rye rewards, all that type of stuff. There's really nothing else to do. So hopefully we do get something like that very soon. SPCs for today. We are going to get, obviously, our 83 plus upgrade, which we will get complete. We have a base loan player pick, which is there for six days. Um, and it is stupidly overpriced. 286 rated, 285 rated, and an 84 rated team. With all due respect, you should not be completing this SPC. This is actually something that I will not be completing. Even though I say I complete everything, this is wrong. This is, if this was for a, an icon, I'd probably say yes, do it. But considering it's just for a loan, this is absolutely not worth doing. It's just, as much as the icon's there probably for 10 games, I'm going to presume, it, it's really, really not beneficial for EA to release something like that. Because all that it does is it forces people more into... Um, the packs in the store to obviously get all the coins to then obviously be able to open these so it's just ea i guess fueling the fire against them in all honesty of why you shouldn't be buying um fee point and all that type of stuff it's just yeah it's not great from them it's a pretty poor decision to do it but i guess we can't really do too much about it uh, because it's ea and they always seem to do stuff like this so disappointing but <laughs> I'm not shocked at the same time. The hero pick was worth it because it was fairly cheap. The likes of this 83 plus upgrade is worth it because it's fairly cheap to do. It's quite easy to get the players. But getting 286s and 285s is not that easy to do. Considering all the other SPCs that are available, you may as well go and complete Cockerland because it's going to be about the same price as that 84 rated team. So, yeah, really, really disappointing for me eh, to see that. Hopefully, we don't have anything too stupid in the store packs today. I mean, we probably are going to. Are we? We do. Oh, it's just 50k packs. So we get three 50k packs. Why not open them? Our pack look's been good today. If we can pack anything else on top of this, it'd be quite nice. We're going to start off with a French CDM. It is going to be N'Golo Kante. He's just came out of packs as a team of the week, which is a shame. But you do not mind that. We will absolutely take an N'Golo Kante. Sadly, not a double walkout. But in behind, are we going to get anything good? Sadly, nothing too good. He is worth... Uh, about 20,000 coins, so not ideal. Um, sadly, we also don't have any room on the transfer list, so we're going to have to discard a lot of cards. Not not the best, but it is what it is. Um, we probably won't open any more 50k packs like this from now on, but 
at the start of the game, we may as well. Still no special card in this one. This one is only going to be Labotka. Again, not worthwhile doing, in my opinion. Um, Labotka is definitely not worth it. Pope in there isn't too bad. I mean, as you can see, my club is absolutely stacked right now. I just I don't have anywhere to put these cards, which is really, really frustrating. So, yeah, I guess we need to just drop down you, and we can drop down you. And we'll save those two rated cards. So we've got a lot of fodder on the on the transfer list. But yeah, it's not looking too good right now. So to finish things off, our 50k pack, number three is no special card. It is going to be an Italian centre-back. It's an 85 rated, isn't it? This is really, really not good. That just proves why FIFA points are not worth opening. That's about 30-odd pound there. It wasn't even an 85. It's an 83 rated. Yeah, really, really proven why it was not worth doing. So to finish things... I mean, these cards aren't worth anything, so we'll take the coins for it. What we will do is we'll open our 83 plus pack and see, can we get anything good? I mean, we haven't even checked Team of the Week. Do you know what? Let's quickly check out Team of the Week first, considering we've just had a brand new Team of the Week. We should probably go and check that out. Um, I, I do this every so often, and I seem to forget about content. So, in terms of our Team of the Week, we've got Martinez, Odegaard, Jude Bellingham is now in pack, Scross, Gavellia, Grimaldo, Watkins. We've also got the, I can't pronounce her name, but she's from the Real Madrid. Um, team, uh, not Real Madrid, but Madrid um, CFF. We've got Alderweireld with a nice upgrade on him as well. Anderson in there with a decent looking card. Orsolini's not bad. And then we've also got Plia. Um, it's not great, I'll be honest with you, but it could be a lot worse. It's decent for you players down on the bench. I guess you're really after Martinez, Odegaard, Bellingham and cross Gavellia. They're your sort of top ones. Watkins wouldn't be too bad, but even still, wouldn't be a great card. So yeah, team of the week, not looking that good in all honesty. Finishing things off are 83 plus. It isn't going to be special. It's going to be an English right back, Trent, Kyle Walker, Therese James. Again, not great, but we don't mind it. We will absolutely take it. Let me know down below, have you got any of the brand new team of the weeks? Are you doing the lone icon pick? I hope you're not, but if you are, let me know what you get. And for now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out.